Hi, this is Ty. In this video, I'll show you a quick and easy way to create this effect in Photoshop. First, place your chosen image onto the canvas, then scale up the image to fill the canvas. If you leave it scaled without adjustments, the file size can get heavy and slow down your work later. So, use the rectangular marquee tool to select the entire canvas and click the Add Layer Mask button. Next, select this layer and convert it into a smart object. Smart objects let you apply filters and make adjustments later without damaging the original image. Now, duplicate the image. If you are on Mac, press Command J. If you are on Windows, press Control J. Then, select the duplicated top layer. Go to the Adjustment Layer menu and choose Color Lookup. At the top right menu, select 3D LUT file and pick Night from Day Cube. Color Lookup is a great feature that applies a cinematic filter with just one click. Once that is set, press Option on Mac or Alt on Windows, move your cursor between the Color Lookup layer and the image layer below, and click to create a clipping mask. This way, the adjustment only affects the image directly below it. Next, select the top image layer again. Use the polygonal lasso tool to draw the area you want to highlight. and create a mask. Invert the mask by pressing Command-I on Mac or Control-I on Windows. Then increase the feather and set it around this level. Now, select the background image layer, add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer, and adjust the brightness until it looks good. Select the top layer, then add a Curves Adjustment layer By shaping the curve into a soft S shape, you can make the image more dynamic and visually striking. Once you're happy, select all layers, merge them. To select all layers from top to bottom, click the top layer, then hold Shift and click the bottom layer. This will select all layers at once. And convert the merged layer into a smart object again. Now go to the top menu, click on Filter, then select Filter Gallery. Once the Filter Gallery window opens, go to the bottom left corner and set it to Fit to Screen to view the full preview of your image. In the Filter Gallery, apply effects like Grain, Graphic Pen, and Diffuse Glow. This creates a really cool and textured look. If you're having the trouble getting the right look, feel free to use my settings as a reference. When you zoom in, it looks like this. Pretty cool, right? Finally, add your favorite text to complete the design. And with that, design is complete. How was it? Pretty easy, right? Subscribe for more creative tutorials. You'll find me on Instagram and TikTok, and my posters are available for purchase too. All the links are in the description. Thanks for watching. See you next week.